We are now on the reissue. Bring it up 50 dB. The air signal is minus 64 dB on the decibel meter. You come over here, it's passing on the scope, not enough to trigger it. Let's turn it up. 70. It's on there, but it triggers the scope. That's really quite nice. Yeah, it's still not giving exactly full output, because if we look at this, it's down 10 dB still. So that's how low that is, minus 64. But it's not enough to give it gain. Let's do the same test. In the clapton. In fact, we've got to take that down. That was 60, it will do it. And it's, it's sure enough, it's reproducing it. Nothing on the scope, mind you. And the thing's way over the top on the voltmeter. I think you'll find the reason why there's nothing on the scope. There is actually, if I open it up, it's a waveform that's extremely high. The amplitude is unbelievable. Let's turn the scope down a little bit. Oh, there you are. Now it's a 20 kilohertz tone. Here we have a Clapton module connected. If we take this and draw it back to 60, we can hear a tone in the distance. It's on 0 VU. It's picking up a microphone very low. And here we have 1.4k. Right, but generally this, if we turn it up now to 60, we get a strange sound come out and then we look at this and we've got 20 kilohertz on this particular one and look at that horrible waveform. Let's turn it back to 50. Okay. Twenty one kilohertz this time. And it goes right off the board. It's quite a high level output. If we actually switch to the next one, it'll pulse. That's a full seventy. So fifty and seven. 1670 is pretty well useless on a old module. Now let's carry out the same experiment by taking this and plugging it into a reissue. The reissue is on 60. It's got quite a clean output, in fact more output than one would expect. It actually is. And if I take it to 70, it's still a very clean output. You want to see that again? That's on full blank. Pull it back. Take it back to 50. There's your 50 at naught. 60. 70. 